This is the Minneapolis Institute of Arts in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we're about to enter a room of teenagers and do a balloon making workshop. flow roughly is introduction, so name tags and who you are, and then an engagement activity that makes, kind of hooks them and makes them not so squirrely. And so, them who? Um, then who what? Them. Them being, who are you working with? Who are you teaching? Kids. Kids. What age? Two to sixth grade. Hard back. Yeah. Yeah. And That's so our, our ultimate lesson is to do some sculpting with model magic. Uh -huh. And my feeling that is that these are fantastic um, ways to find form. Yeah, or you just put a bunch of balloons on the table with some pumps and the kids go nuts and they, they investigate. It's, it's like my, mo my most successful projects are when the, your group is investigating on their own and learning. I mean, you know, if I tell you all about Paris, like that's nice, but if I say, hey, we're going to Paris so you can see it, <laughs> which one would you pick? You know, and so, you know, and a lot of education, unfortunately, I think is a lot about hearing about how great the world is, but you can offer the actual experience of touching and hearing and, and all of that. Okay, so we are here to make a dog. Um, I'm going to, I'll make one, right, so you can see it, and then we'll do it together. How's that? Okay. So you're going to start with the balloon, and when you work with um, your, your young people, we want them to have the platform of success. Right, so there are some things that you can share. Like, in, you know, I'm I'm always in between whether to uh, encourage the investigation of of the everything, you know. But if like if a balloon is like this and you try to pump it up, it'll pop because the air can't go through, right? So if you see somebody who's like tuck it just straight and hold it like this, you know, and then you can blow it up. If you don't hold it and pinch it there and you blow it up, it goes, <laughs> which is fun. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying that if you do that for, you know, then the kids will figure it out and then everybody will make rockets and <laughs> that's a way to go, you know. So you, you slide the balloon onto the first tip and you hold it with your forefinger and thumb and then you gently just, just push the, balloon, the air in and then for the dog, you leave a tail like this because we're going to make lots of twists and the air has to travel through the balloon and it uses up space. The trick for twisting, like when you blow it up, you'll feel like this is really tight. You burp it just a little bit, and then you can tie a knot and it's more flexible. And so it's really about understanding your, your art material and not asking it to do something that it's not designed to do. So if it gets really tight and you're going to twist it anyway, you're going to pop it, and that'll happen. But um, So you want flexibility in life and in balloon twisting. <laughs> so then you have the knot, and that's the nose. And you twist. When do you decide what direction you are a twister in balloon making? Always go with that. So I twist away from my body. That's my natural instinct. Some people like to twist towards. But find your direction. Uh, do all the twists in threes. So that's nice and strong. But if you let go, it'll come undone. So it's one, two, three. You hold on to it. That's your little nosy. It's also referred to as a bubble. And then you bend the balloon over, and that becomes the ears. And then you grab his little nose, and you grab his ears, and if you pull it away like this, and you twist it, it doesn't really make that squeaky sound. If you don't, it makes it, it doesn't, doesn't bother me, it bothers some people. But you know, you can lift and twist, and you don't get that noise. And then it stays, and then you have a little dog face. And then you figure out its little neck, you twist that. Okay. And then the legs are just like the ears, only a little longer. And twist, one, two, three. Decide how long the body, you can squeeze, see how the air was coming out the bottom there? You can um, shift the air a little bit. And then decide how long the body is, one, two, three. And then the legs approximately the same length, one, two, three. Turn his head so he's looking forward, and bang, you have your dog. 
And you can do this with like a group of kids. Of, you, like I did this with 150 middle school students. Everybody in the audience had it. And it was just hilarious. And they were all like, yeah, you know, and they had their balloons and they were shaking them. So you can, um, you can keep a focus of a large group with this if you're um, prepared. And that means lots of balloons and pumps. So, okay, we have four here, but why don't you um, take a pump? Yeah, take a pump and um, put the balloon on and <laughs> pump it up so it looks about like this. These balloons are really flexible, so you can you can really stretch it out to tie that knot. The knot tying, I put two fingers over the stretch and then turn my fingers around and then create a, uh, a little hole. And then there's no real tension on my fingers. And I think that. But however you um, turn off the thing. <laughs> okay. So, oh, look at you guys. Go ahead and cut. Awesome. All right, so great. So you did the head, you made the bubble. First one, one, two, three, make a little bubble. Fold it over. Yep. Woo! <laughs> it's getting used to the art too. Yep, you got it. Oh my gosh, get it off. Sun sculpture. Yeah. I mean, I think that would be a fantastic library project, don't you? And maybe have a big one, so we leave it at the library for a few days, and then some little ones. Excellent. Good. And it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I want you to know how to make a dog. I want you to do it again. <laughs> Wait, and if you guys are into this, you go to YouTube. How to make a balloon animal, make a balloon flower, make a balloon whatever. And then there's uh, tutorials on there and you can practice and practice um, reviewing them. And, and I really, honestly, if you guys like take to this and figure out how to do it, this could become your job. If you can stand on any street corner and, like, and, and sell these things or do, I, I hardly ever do this publicly without being offered work. People buy these? Yes. I think oh, kids go crazy. You have like little crazy riots. I think you can get away. No, it's uh, of, of all the mediums, I've worked in lots of mediums, and this is the one that makes the people the crazy. Can you make I cannot make a monkey climb a tree, but you can. If you go on. I really don't. I, I know how to make, like, a, I'm more an abstractor. But, um,. But there are all kinds of crazy things that people have figured out how to make. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So there's a flower. But they, and these balloons come in great colors. So um, and they photograph them beautifully. Okay. Did did everyone make a dog? Yeah. And you could do it again. I think I think we need to do one more. Because I, you know, just kind of repeat it. So yeah. let's everyone do one more. 
And then maybe let's, before we go for lunch, let's talk about how, <laughs> how and if we want to incorporate this in the engagement part of the lesson, okay? thing.